Hello Gobekli Tepe fans! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a closer look at Pillar 43, the Vulture Stone, as promised. My summary moved a little fast the other day and I did that on purpose to make sure I could get everything in. I'm going to do that again today. Plus, I don't want to bore you. So let's get right to it. Pillar 43 is a map. It's a map of their country, kind of like the United States map. And looking at it, you'd have to, like with any map, you'd have to know where you are and have the right perspective, right? To, uh, now, when I say know where you are, know that your surroundings and orient that on the map and so you'd know how to use the map, right? Kind of like when you're driving in your car, the map moves left and right as you move left and right. So it looks differently all the time, but it's the same map. So it's just a matter of perspective. You know, some people put it north and south always just so they know, because they know the train and that's the way they know it. So it's just really perspective. And that's what we're going to talk about here today. So you're probably wondering about this map here. Well, maybe that looks a little more familiar to you when you have the right perspective. So let's get right to it, where the Natufians lived. The Natufians lived here, okay, right off the Mediterranean. Now I'm turning the map east and west because if you lived off the coast like anywhere, say in Hawaii, you, you know, your world would be driven by that angle, right? So if you lived in a valley, so to speak, a long valley, your world would be driven by that. So we're going to get into that in a minute. Here, though, is their world. As you can see on the map, I'm just going to make it bigger here to match it. So over here is the dog. I never put a pin in the dog because I just like looking at it. It just looks like a dog, right? I mean, it always looks like a dog. I just love it. You know, I do pin the, the, the circle and Mount Hermon and Karaka dog over here. However, let's get back into what I'm saying. On the pillar, they're showing their entire world, okay? And it comes from Batman or Batman over here along these mountains up to the Mediterranean over to Haifa to the Valley of Jazeel, right? And then over to the, back down to the uh, uh, Jordan River and down to the Dead Sea. And that's, as I've put right here, this is, and if you saw the summary, this is their world. And at the top, of course, is the Mediterranean with the waves, you know, down the beach. If you've ever been to the beach, it's a succession of waves. And we'll get into those animals in another video. The, and at the top, as you can see, is the mountains of Cyprus. So what they did as far as perspective, this, as you can see, north and south is this way. So the Jordan River is, is naturally north and south, uh, uh, and same with, with the coast. But what they did to fit it on the pillar is they, they, they pivoted it. They took this part here, so everything from the dog to the vulture is right here, okay? And the rest of the map is all of this. But all they did is this. They, to make it fit, they just took that part and draped it down this way, down the pillar, Okay, you, you with me on that? Then they took this part and just pushed it over. Not too much, though, because the shapes over here, as I said in the summary, repeat themselves. So the big bird is right here, like it shows on the pillar, and then it repeats itself over here. Very sneaky, very Hollywood, right? If you knew that secret, you could use that uh, in, in various ways. But the map itself, though, talking about perspective, everything is a perspective from Mount Hermon. If you draw a line in the middle of this stone, as you saw in the summary, the very middle is right here, and that's Mount Hermon, the short range, okay? And so that that's that, so everything they're looking at is south going that way, west going this way, and then um, north going that way, right? So on the pillar, let me, let me show you this. Here's everything on the pillar, right? The mountains, there's the Bacaw Valley, like I said. This is the way it is. And, and as you can see, here's the vulture and the scorpion I drew in. It goes that way. And again, all they did is just dropped it here, okay? And then these animals here are also uh, facing... Uh, um, northwest going this way, but then they repeat themselves again in a northwest fast fashion, and I'll show you that in, the, in a video later, all right? But let's move on. So the, the map is actually, since they pivoted it, it's almost like three maps, but they still connect with each other, and I'm going to show you that. So right now, I'm gonna, we're going to look at everything south of Mount Hermon, okay? So let me orient the map, and let's have a little fun. I mean, it's a map. Let's just go around and drive around a little bit, all right? So let's... There we go. North, south. There's the, the vulture, right? We got the vulture there. Here we go. So just like they say, the vulture, the, 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 the snake, the scorpion. So here's the, the vulture. The snake is the, is the Jordan River that comes around here in Urbid. We'll talk about that. Got the dog and the, and the uh, beaked animal here, the scorpion out there, right? And there you go, drawing it in. So on the right without the drawing, left with the drawing. So from the top, let's take a look at the vulture. As I said before, this is simply the Golan Heights. Right on Google. Thank you, Google, for being Google. And, and thank you, Earth, for still having all this stuff on the ground. 
So there, there you have it. That is the Vulture uh, with the Scorpion next to it. Okay, now, the, the, there's not much detail more I can tell you on the Vulture, but there are the two different. There. There's the ring. There are two separate things. The ring and then these legs that don't exist anywhere. But And I'm going to show you what that is. First, let's do the ring. The ring on a topographical map of Syria is down in the corner right here. Okay, that might be hard for you to see. I went ahead and made a better picture. I, and you can see it right there. See it? That is either an impact crater or a volcanic structure. And it actually makes up the rim of the Golan Heights here on one side by the vulture right here, right? That's where that is. So when I plotted all the high points on what you saw there, that you can see it on Google Maps, all these little ridges come up, all these, so, and, and the center is right outside of Jabba. That's um, right here. And that's where the ring is. So there's, there you go. I mean, it's perfect. South of, of Mount Hermon, right on the wing of the vulture. So the second part, though, down here, what this is, this is one of the few straight lines. These, these are the few, one of the few straight lines on the whole uh, pillar. So what it's telling you is this, to travel, to get to the duck. You see some scratches right here? So in other words, if you follow that, they say you should find the duck. Now, the other day on the, on the summary, if you saw that, the duck is over in the, in, in the desert, right? So if we follow, so let's do that. So here's the vulture, right? We'll keep it north and south. We're going to go over here and just keep following out there, right? We'll maybe have a meal at Shabbat right there. Come across the desert up here to Palmyra, right? And that's where the back of the duck is, right? Over in here. So we're walking over here. Let's put it into satellite mode. And there you have it, okay? There is the head of the duck, right? Let's move that a little bit like that. So we came across the desert here to the duck, see that? From, had, had a meal here at Palmyra, came over to the, the, the face of the duck and came across. Now, now look at the legs here. Here is the bird, right? And the Euphrates River with the legs. See the, the, the head of the duck goes in the middle of, of those legs? There it is right there. Then you're wondering about the fish. All right, here's the fish. There's the back tail of the fish, the squared cutoff fish. It comes through here, and here's the V part for the fish. Okay, why? Because as you can see uh, on the pillar, it's dumping this watershed, right, into like a funnel, into Al Hasaka, Al Hasaka, and then draining down in here. It's one of the main tributaries into the Euphrates, okay? And then up here is the other pillar, right? Up here, there's the pillar. The bottom pillar that's draining into is between these two mountains right here, okay? And I'm going to get into that in another video, but I'm giving you a sneak preview um, because it all ties in, just to show you that it all ties in. So let's go back now. We, we went up to the tepees. Oh, you want to, there you go. You guys should know this, right? But if you zoom in enough, there it is, Gobekli Tepe, right there, right? Right there at the top of, uh, uh, and then of course the other tepees are around there too. And there's more detail I wanna show you. I'm still working on that. Um, all right, for instance, this, this triangle, I'll give you one more right there. Look at that, between the fish and the bird. There it is right there, and there's the bird. I mean, undeniable. And here's the, here's the, the, the ugly duck once again. So we're heading back. We need to head back because we're looking at the bottom of the pillar, and there's some details I want to get into. This is actually the scorpion. So we're still north and south, as you can see. It's still in the same, whoops, in the same uh, orientation. But we need to get back and get into the other animals, because there are some great details. So, okay. <clears throat> the scorpion, I, th there's not much more to say about the scorpion, okay? It, there are no more details on the pillar, no, no more details to tell me anything really other than how, how badass it is, right? And that is that when you zoom in on it, right? When you zoom in, here is the body of the, of the scorpion. You see the head right there and this whole body right here, but the tail is awesome. And then it's got this little hook at the end, exactly like on the pillar, right? So there you go. It's in the right location. And... We can move on to the snake. And the snake isn't much more either. The snake, they say, is, it's, I know it's behind these rocks, but it's from the, the bottom of the vulture and then around out to the scorpion and then up. Well, it's right here. It's the Jordan River. Comes around Amman, about by the scorpion and into Urbid. There you go. So they're talking about this. So if you're starting to get a feeling that this is states, kind of like the United States, you're right. This 
map is a map of the country. It's not their trail map. I mean, they would have had smaller maps for all of this. You know, there have been trails everywhere. No, this was the this was the country map. So, and each one of these places is pretty much a state. I mean, people out here wouldn't have just continued to travel. They would have left elderly and and and, and the young here. They would have left folks to harvest. You know, everything we're talking about has to do with mountains and water and shelter. Every one of these objects has has to do with that, okay? So they were controlling their natural resources, their people. This was their country, okay? It's probably the original country. So with the snake, there's not much more with to, to tell you because there's just no more detail. It's just straight up like that. Now, down here, though, with the dog, that is awesome. Okay, so the dog is easy. Let's move down. I'm going to draw the dog. Now, one, one thing I wanted to say here. On the pillar, they show the animal outside of the legs of the dog, but right between the legs of the dog, right? That's exactly where it is, between the legs of the dog. But they couldn't chisel in the detail that small, you know what I mean, for it to make sense. So what they did is just represented it outside of the dog. And all you had to tell somebody is to walk down there to the dog's legs and go in, and, and all this would be true, right, including the man. So let's take a look at... Uh, uh, so the dog, I can't tell you much more. There's not much more to tell you. Just the dog itself, and um, and I just traced it. It's the it's the beaked animal that's really cool. So, a couple details. The other day I said, see the the smile right here. There's a smile. Well, there's the smile right there. There's the eye right there. Right there's the eye. Now here's the great detail I like. Coming across from the man. If you saw the video, this is where it's coming across from the arm. Okay, the man is out here. But see that see on the pillar this line. That's going to Raba, and I believe there's another line down there too, and that would be going to Carrick. They're in the right spot, right? Uh, uh, come around the top corner right here of the neck and down a little bit, and that would be the trail coming straight across. This is an ancient trail, okay? This is, these trails are ancient. And another one down here. Now, my favorite one on this that I just discovered. Look at this at the very bottom. There is a deep gouge right there, right? And it only goes so far. That is awesome. Well, when you come down here, Let's put this into satellite mode. And if you saw the summary the other day, you can it makes a beautiful beaked serpent, right? Awesome. Uh, but you can see. However, look at this. Highway 35, right there at the base, comes into the legs of the dog. This is the legs of the dog, but there's this deep channel. Now, it can be two things. As you can see, there's a valley here at the legs of the dog, but Highway 35... Cuts across just like this and stops right to here. I believe this part at the end is right here. So if I was looking for any sort of settlements or anything, I would definitely be looking in here for more of these settlements. Isn't that awesome? Now let's move over to the man. You can probably already see the penis of the man. See it? There's the penis. That's one of the penises. But I believe because of the, the head of the penis, that shadowy mark right there, I believe they're talking about this structure here. And there's a scrotum down there, just like they show a scrotum. So I did do a, a picture um, and there's the arm, you know, there's the headless part of the man right there, right? And then the arm where they show on the pillar, the arm right here. Well, that's, that's highway 45 right now. That would have been an ancient trail. So here's the body right down to the penis, just like it shows that. Okay. And here's the trail 50 going over to Karak, right? And, and the other one to Raba, right? It's right along the arm here. So these are ancient, ancient trails. Awesome, right, guys? Now, how can somebody say that all of this is just a coincidence? It's a non-coincidence. It's on purpose, all of this, all right? So there's everything uh, uh, from Mount Hermon on down, all in the right spot, all in the right sequence. You can use this as a map. You can still use this today if you knew uh, uh, what you were looking at. Again, again, it's all about perspective, right? So that's everything uh, on down and how it connects that's why it was so easy for me to draw, right? It's a, again, it's a map. It, it, it is a map. It is not a star sign. This is not Sagittarius. This is not Scorpio. Scorpio's got the tail in the wrong. Whenever they look at the stars, the tail's in the wrong direction. That's what really was one of the keys that I knew that it was not a a, a star map or a solar or solstice or anything like that because of Scorpio not being in the right orientation. But on this map, as you saw, it's in the exact orientation that it, that that it would be. Okay. So that is today's deep dive on going down the Jordan River. The next one I'm going to do is going to be for the Mediterranean. It'll be from Mount Hermon towards the Mediterranean. There are some details in here that are really cool. Then I'm going to do the third one, which will be to the right side over here. And that'll be a dual purpose one because it is a dual purpose map. You know, when, you, we, when we start talking about 
uh, this area in here. Highly, highly cool. So hats off to the Natufians. Hey, everybody, uh, please leave a, a comment or question. Uh, I'm pretty fast about answering. And be kind, right? And be nice. And we'll see you on the next video. Prost!